Okay. Hello, bakers. So, yeah, to further prove that 428 pounders has absolutely zero, 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 zero empathy or emotional intelligence, as you may know it as, um, Pom Pom is looking out the window because Pom Pom is looking out for Bella, okay? Bella was Pom Pom's jailmate, prison homie, okay? When, when 428 Big Bubba comes along to the, to the cells, Pom Pom and Bella were cellies, okay? And Pom Pom must hopefully just think that her cellie got freedom and doesn't think that, oh, Big Bubba came and killed my best friend. Um, yeah. Pom Pom's looking out the window, looking for Bella. Idiot. And she's not a poppy. So this new crap of, oh, you're a little poppy. Oh, baby goo, baby goo. Are you going to do the rat dog, rat dog, rat dog crap again? Break some more people's eardrums? So ridiculous. Pom Pom isn't a puppy. You're just starting this puppy crap because you're trying to do this and, and sneak in a puppy without the public going wild on you. And they do. Because you, if you get more viewers, you will prove to everybody that you are the most hated person on YouTube. You are the elder Onision. You are the elder brat of YouTube. And you just murdered a dog for no reason, you sick freak. Because you want a puppy. You want a puppy. You never worked with Bella to train her, to take her to the vet so she wasn't suffering. You never did anything. You could only spend money on yourself because you're selfish as all hell. Okay? And, okay, so you got, you got, you went and murdered Bella and you finally groomed Pom Pom. Okay, well, Pom Pom looks like a uh, gizmo, okay, from the Goonies. It's just not, it's not a good look. Okay? You want her ears to look like yours. It's huge and hairy. So, anyway, I just, I, I'm further and further disgusted every day that goes by that just shows that you murdered Bella. You could have given Bella to any of the people who offered to give her a good home. One for blind or blind and deaf dogs. Why didn't you do that? If you couldn't handle her, why didn't you give her to somebody who wanted her? Why? And did you pay to get her cremains? Did you pay to get her, you know, a little um, urn to look at? No, you didn't. You don't even know. You just went there in your freaking clown car, pulled up, dumped her off. If you did that, if you did that, because half of me even thinks you just like flung her out the window somewhere because it doesn't make sense that you don't know what happened. And it doesn't make sense because you film everything except for your bowel movements. Um, is that you didn't film her taking her last breath with you sitting there with the evil grin on, I'm sure you had, to go and fake blubber when anybody came by or go fake blubber on your stupid videos that act like you give a crap about Bella because you didn't. You abused that poor animal and you're sick. You abused her, and you abused her, and you abused her until you went and just one day decided you wanted to murder her, you sick freak. And so why? Why couldn't you have given her to somebody else who wanted her and could work with her? Why? Because you're sick. You're a disgusting freak, and you want a puppy. And this is all about you wanting a puppy and a big celebration for the big 428 pounder. Your birthday is 428.43. You know, wants to have a puppy for her birthday. So I had to go and get rid of one of the malls. Yeah, you sick freak. And yeah, you have hives. So what if you have hives? Millions of people have allergies right now. It's allergy season. Okay? Maybe one of your lardites can send you some Benadryl along with the Xanax and everything else that they send you. Your little care packages, you freak. So anyway, yeah, you have hives. Big deal. So do most of us. Anyway, take a Zyrtec, take a Claritin, shut up. It's most likely from the skinny pig that you just bought to go and molest and put in the bed to get to know you better, freak. Um, and so, yeah, why don't you just take some Zyrtec and 
Claritin, just like any normal person would. You can get it at the Dollar Tree where you're at anyway. Um, probably can't return it, so that's the that's the caveat. But you can get yourself a lot of generic Claritin and Zyrtec from the Dollar Tree, um, enough to last you a couple of weeks. Take take them alternatively. You can actually take them up to four times a day. I'm not kidding you. Um, because a lot of us have allergies like me. So we just take our antihistamine. We boom down our histamine and it's not a big deal. We don't have to go on and make a video about it. Oh, I have hives. I must go and waddle out and stomp on the earth to go get a prescription. Just shut up and get some Claritin and Zyrtec, the generic forms at Dollar Tree. You can figure it out. You can do this, but you're allergic to the cedar lining from your skinny pig, which is not a skinny pig. Like, you're not a skinny pig. You're a big fat pig that murdered a sweet, innocent dog. How did you do that? How did you just walk up and grab the dog and be like, okay, here we're going. Like, just like, like you're putting one of your god awful purses on your shoulder and you just put Bella in one of them and you just flung her to the vet and said, put her to sleep. I mean, what, what did you do? Why don't you have, like, the cremains coming? What did you do? Um, and did it work? Did, did Carol call you to console you for Bella? Because supposedly this was Carol's idea. I mean, what is going on? I mean, did she tell you that you're an animal hoarder? And until you stop hoarding your animals, she's not going to visit you? I mean, what, what happened? Why did you do this? It doesn't make sense. Why didn't you give her to somebody who could have taken care of her? So many people over the years have offered. There's no excuse. No excuse for you not offering or taking somebody up on their offer. It's just cruel what you did, and it makes you sick. And if you have hives, so what? Like I say, take a, take a antihistamine, just like the rest of the world does. You don't even sit there and whine about it with your big, ugly frog hands. And those tattoos on your elder ass look terrible. They absolutely look terrible when you're driving. You think you're so sexy driving down in your clown car. You look ridiculous. Okay? Absolutely ridiculous. So, I'm just giving you a little advice. I know you hate it. So, it's the best thing I can do is give you some advice. Over and out, bakers. Go to hell, lard ass.